so my name is Felicia Wong and I'm an undergraduate researcher at the Chin Urology Lab at UCLA. So I work on understanding how prostate cancer specifically works and how it affects our bodies and then our cells because it changes our genes so that if we have different types of genes that will change and our cells will react differently to those mechanisms. We work with bacteria cells because they're a simpler, more idealistic version of human cells. So by looking at how cancer affects these bacterial cells, we can actually predict how, what will happen in human cells. So I'm from Thousand Oaks, California. It's kind of a small town in, in uh, an hour away from LA, actually. Neither of my parents were scientists. They were both computer programmers. I know my brother influenced me a lot, but he loved a lot of the animals and was more on the e evolution, ecology kind of thing. But me, myself, I, w I was raised by my grandma a lot. And then a couple of years ago, she died of cancer, specifically stomach cancer. And because of that, that kind of got me into this field of working or researching cancer. Like, even though it's prostate cancer, they still have similar ways of affecting the human body. So because my grandmother raised me, I've always wondered, why does it affect us in that way? So in the lab, I kind of work with both cells and their genes. So one day I'll probably be keeping the cells alive so I can actually use them. And another day I'll be taking out their DNA so I can sequence them or mark them with pretty colors so that I can see which, what the difference between a normal cell and a cancerous cell are. So some of the equipment that I use in the lab is the uh, magnetic stirrer, which we use to make the uh, make a concoction so we can feed the bacteria with that. So while we're making the food for the bacteria, what we have to do is we use water in it. So we're pouring water into it and make, basically mixing two substances together so that they can live and they can we can study them and without having them die all the time. And then after that, hopefully with all this research and all this work, I can figure out why cancer does what it does and how it does that. So we can cure cancer, hopefully in the end. So working in the lab, sometimes I'm working alone and as like independently, but normally when I have any issues, I can always talk to somebody in the lab who will always come and help me with it. But then other times, most often, we're working together and doing experiments like side by side together and helping each other out. So what I hope for my work is to just to continue all the information we know about cancer because my grandmother who raised me was very, very kind and nice to me. So when she died of cancer, I was sad about it. And so I, what I hope that my work will do in the future is that I hope that I can eventually cure cancer actually so that I can prevent other people from feeling despair from losing a loved one.